What's up, YouTube? Man, it looks like things are heating up for summer 23. So stay tapped in. Now back to the content. <laughs> Listen, guys, y'all know I don't normally respond to a lot of negativity and things like that. Um, but every now and again, I got to let you know. OK, guys, let me break this down for y'all. OK, you see this young man right here. I did not know this young man six months ago. His birthday is August 29th. OK, a week from today. This time last year. A week from today, this young man is going to be homeless. OK, he's going to be homeless in a shelter down here in Atlanta, Georgia, that he was bought to by his foster parents that had been his foster parents since they since he was four, four years old. OK. For six months down here in Atlanta, he was homeless. I just so happened to come up on his sister, his twin sister, who was homeless, living out in the street. I met them six months ago and Six months later, this young man has gotten a chance to meet his biological family, which who knows when or if that ever would have happened. Granted, things didn't necessarily go perfect with the biological family, but simply knowing who they are is a huge relief to someone that has those questions about where do I come from? I wonder who my biological family is. OK, so he's been relieved of that six months later after meeting me and coming on my platform this young man is a college student with a full scholarship to morris brown college full housing paid for i want to shout out my big brother dr pastor jamal bryan who is about that action you see a lot of people talk shit. very few are about that action so i want to give a major salute to my big brother jamal bryan for for helping and having a hand in changing the trajectory of this young black man's life. This is all a result of him and his sister being on my platform. One thing that I'm about, I'm about that action. That's why I don't respond to a lot of comments and things like that. Because if I can't see your work, I can only take your comment with a grain of salt. So one more time, a major salute to Dr. Pastor Jamal Bryant. Major salute to Jaden for making a great decision and changing his life. And I would be remiss if I didn't one time give a shout out to Atlanta Street Interviews for putting points on the scoreboard. Now back to the content. And her twin brother in uh, Chicago. Yeah, I, I wanted to, to come on uh, today, uh, number one, uh, because I got uh, good news for you even while we're praying that God says uh, he prepares a table. Uh, and so a new book, I want you, I hope you'll be as excited as I am, as I know Jemima will be when she finally hears this, and as excited as uh, her twin brother's going to be. I wanted to share with you today uh, that I have a uh, full college scholarship for you and your sister. Uh, you to, uh, uh, come on, somebody on the shout. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my. And that uh, we want to stand in the gap with you uh, that you have a real foster family. A foster family that's not going to throw you away. A foster family that's not going to act like you're an inconvenience or a burden. New birth is adopting you and your sister, uh, and we're going to cover you, and we're going to take care of you, and we're going to make sure that you and your sister become the adults that God has called you to be. New birth, would you make some noise? It's a kind of church that we are. It's our college Sunday, and uh, I want to salute all of our young people who are here from colleges across the Atlanta metro area. Uh, I interviewed uh, a young man uh, four months ago, and uh, he's here on today. Come on. Uh, we just uh, finished freshman week. Definitely just with you. Yeah, tell the people where you're going. 
tell that shirt. I got a Morris Brown. <laughs> God is so good. I, I uh, need you to give God glory because uh, we have located his sister. Oh God, I'm trying to give it up for you. Uh, we have uh, moved him into his yard and uh, he is uh, fully uh, connected uh, to uh, college and campus life. Uh, his sister is uh, located with Gunnable family. Uh, in Chicago uh, because we want to give her some time to adjust uh, but she is moving to come here in, in January uh, in January she will be uh, uh, in the I want to hold a debt of gratitude to uh, this amazing brother uh, who captured this interview online downtown uh, Atlanta and uh, because of his post uh, I was able to see it, and uh, our prayers were able uh, to uh, go forward to find uh, this uh, family uh, and to get them uh, connected uh, into a uh, black college life. I am overwhelmingly grateful uh, to you. And, uh, come on, come on. I want you to go quickly and just talk about what's going on in your mind when you did that interview. Well, um, you know, her, I mean, his twin uh, sister, was out there homeless. Um, just a quick backstory is that they were 18 years old, um, and this time last year, they was brought down here from Chicago by their foster parents to be in a homeless shelter. So they were homeless literally this time last year. And one year from now, due to the circumstances beyond any of our control, um, and due to the generosity of Pastor Jamal Bryant, one year later, they went from being homeless out on the street. Now this young man is at Morris Brown College. He's got a full scholarship. He's got housing. He's got hope. He's got hope. This is something that he's never had in his life. He's never had hope. He has hope now. I thank you for that. You know, you give God glory. This is what the church is supposed to be. What the church is uh, supposed to be about. I am uh, so grateful. Let me ask all of our college students, would you lift up your hands, please? All of our college students, you lift up your hands. What an amazing testimony. If there's somebody, keep that hand lifted. If there's somebody with their hands lifted, would you just point your hands towards them? Uh, I want to pray for them. I want to cover on these four years of really going to try your man's soul, try your woman's soul. God, I pray for their mind. I pray for their future. I pray for their destiny. I thank you for their call. Thank you for covering them. God, we pray that they will go further than any person in their family. We stand on the promise that the worst is behind and the best is yet to come. And those of you who know you serve a God who can turn your life around in one year, would you give God glory and give Him praise? Yes, Lord, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord, but you give your attention to the screen for just one moment.